Uh, this one's for you. Buying your first house, first of all, um, is awesome. It's it's fantastic, um, but it's it's a big leap uh, when you go to go into home ownership. You need to be certain that you're prepared. Um, and I'm going to give you a few questions you might consider again when you watch the coaches show. What what are we saying? In my humble opinion, all right. I want you to think on your own. I just want to give you some stuff to to as a basis for those thoughts. Think this through, and if it makes sense to you, then follow through with it. But this is all, you know, coach's opinion at this point in time. Ask yourself this question. Number one, how is my credit? So before you consider purchasing a home, review your credit report. Um, you can do it with things like Credit Karma and the online stuff, but I'm going to tell you right now, those online credit reports like Credit Karma, they're not for a house and they're not for a car. They're typically set up for you uh, for credit cards or credit situations. OK, uh, so the numbers that it shows you are not the numbers you're going to get. So I would get a credit report check from a lender who's going to tell you what your credit score is for buying a home because they're different. OK, but what I'm talking about now is checking for the inaccuracies in your report. It's not neat. You don't have to have a perfect report. But you do have to check and make sure that there's no inaccuracies in there um, and that your name is right and that your history is correct and that your um, address um, is right. And basically that your credit has a kind of flow to it that shows that you're a responsible person and you repay your debt. Um, even if you have some credit issues, that really doesn't matter. There's ways to improve your credit score. So what I'm talking about here is look at your credit score, not your score, excuse me, look at your credit history. Make sure it's you for crying out loud. It could be somebody else that has a name like you that got on your score. So don't be surprised by it. Check it first. Number two, have you saved enough for a down payment? This is a question a lot of people don't ask themselves. For most first time home buyers, a home down payment is big, right? It's probably the largest thing they've ever done outside of a really nice car, right? This is the biggest thing they've done. Um, so while there's all kinds of different loan programs with different down payments and reductions in this and, and grants on that, um, pretty much there's going to be a large down payment of some kind. And you have to determine, OK, so if they ask me for that amount of money, um, how much is going to come out of my bank and what's that going to what am I going to be left with? Um, I don't want you to factor in things uh, to your monthly payment like um, uh, HOA and stuff like that. Um, but the down payment, I want you to think about whether or not when that's out of your bank, do you have enough money to get yourself going and um, get some things that you need? It's an important question. You know, we're coming up on tax time because it's towards the end of the year. Maybe you got a tax refund coming uh, that'll come, you know, we'll probably within 30 days or so of you uh, putting in your tax taxes. Think about that and put it aside. That just might be the kind of money that you need to make that down payment comfortable for you. Number three, can you afford the monthly payments? Um, even if you have saved enough for the down payment, like we just talked about, uh, you need to be prepared and certain that you can make those monthly payments. And I'm not talking about just, I'm not talking about everything. I'm talking about just the monthly mortgage payment. I'm not even talking about the other expenses like the property taxes that may or may not be impounded in it. Um, HOA dues, home owner association dues, even homes have that. It's not just for condos. Um, you might have home owner association dues. You got to, you got to put that in there too, right? So now you got a, you got a mortgage payment, you got taxes and insurance, you've got HOA fees, add that up. Um, is that an expense that you're going to be comfortable with? Because you have a life to live. You, you want to go out to dinner with your husband or wife. You want to get the kids, um, into a soccer program or baseball or football. Do you have enough money in your life to afford that payment? Don't put yourself into a situation where you can't afford it. I sound like your dad. I know, but I'm sure that your father or your mother would tell you the same thing. Don't say, you know what, if I don't do this and I don't do that, um, uh, I, I'll be able to afford it. It'll be great. It, uh, no problems. Yeah, it's a problem. Factor these things in. That's money. Um, uh, and it's something that's uncomfortable for a lot of people to talk about and to think about, but guess what? It's vital. 
All right, what's our third topic today for our buyers? Seven pricing, let me put this up on the board. There we go. 